Hey y'all. Hey. Sko, sko, sko. We're in Shaggy. Atlanta. It's Tia. Hey. That's how they do it. Tia. Tia. Oh, they got that too? I know they got Tia. I just saw, always saw the A part. What's today? Saturday, the today 17th. Sunday. Oh. <laughs> you tried it. Sunday. What's January it? 17th. Um, it feel like a Saturday though. It do feel like a Saturday. I think because yesterday we traveled all day, so. Right. But we're in our hotel, and we are. It's the morning. It's Sunday morning, seventeenth. We're gonna go to Atlantic Station later in a couple of hours. We just came back from the Waffle House, and it was good. It was so good. The several was trying to holler my baby though. And so affordable. So crazy. Don't cry my question. The server was trying to holler at you. She's trying to holler at me? She wanted to put a rainbow. So person. this is what happened, though. We went to we went to go eat. We sat down. You no, know, she was looking at me a little bit. I had my little Whatever. Swag she was the, re- the server was real regular. But she left. She took our order. And then she left. And she came back with a rainbow bracelet on. Well, like, and was like, here's your straw. Like, bruh. Here's your straw. And I was like, okay. So we got the memo that you gave. All right. Okay, so oh, she was cool. She gave me free coffee, so that she did give me. I said plus. If you come to me with my the coffee, boots, though. Why are you talking about? Why are you? Ooh, sh- things look proper. Really? You really gonna get me upset? Like fuck a video, like dead ass. Why are you doing that? They just look proper. So so you gotta you gotta not. Nah. <laughs> they look, they look proper, I'm, not, I'm not doing this video. Why? No, nah, nah, we're gonna have to re record. <laughs> no, no, we record. Nah, why are you doing it? Why are you showing my property to the government, yo? This is not the government. Everybody's and this a not government. your property. We ain't walked in that L yet, boo. Alright, remember you said that. Just remember you said that. What you mean, remember I said that? <laughs> Don't get knocked that. out. Anyway. Alright. I'm trying to keep my Sunday, my Sunday. There ain't nothing holy about it. My Sunday aura on. But I just ate. I don't, I'm in a good mood. Okay, so, yeah. All right, so we have to be brutally honest for two seconds. Um, I feel like we are always back and forth, up and down. Like, not nothing drastically. Look how she put her head down. I guess you're not in a conversation. No, I'm, I'm in a conversation. So what's been going on, boo? I've been, I've been getting my shit together. I just been working, coming home, working, coming home, photography, working, coming home, and I'm forgetting the real things that you know we're looking forward to. I haven't helped her in any other wedding plans. Let's just let's just say this: there's been a personal dilemma. The when she, we are in a very healthy relationship. There's no lying. There's no cheating. There's no like manipulating. There's no betraying. We are very happy. You know, when it comes to like the things that people really go through with their spouse and they can't trust them like that like we don't go through that our only issue is that i feel like in a partnership i feel like a lot more is on my shoulders like um as far as getting things done you know like two big things that's going on in our life right now is what moving out and wedding right and who's been doing everything about it you so that's so that's my dilemma, guys. I think because like, you stay home more, I'm just always, but that's not fair. You keep you saying, work. but you keep saying that. You keep saying that's not fair, but you keep saying that I stay home. Like, that gives you a good excuse to not help me. This is your wedding as well. Right. And this is your new apartment, too. Right. You know, you should be like just as involved as I am. Right. So her whole thing is, I, you know, I work a lot of hours. You should be able to handle it. But me, I'm like, well, I work on my businesses. I work my own job and I'm trying to do a wedding in an apartment. I'm overwhelmed. I just feel a little overwhelmed. So I feel like sometimes I get so overwhelmed that I, I'm like, oh, well, we shouldn't do this because this is what our future is going to be like that I want to do this. And I, But the, the, the real part is I really love her. And, and I'm not getting cheated on. And I'm not getting lied to. And I'm not getting, like, beat up on. You know, like, we're in a good relationship. She treats me really good. That is the only problem. The only problem in our relationship is that she <laughs> fucking up. help me with a lot of things. But I, I think I would I, I would feel horrible if... You lose me? Yeah. To, to, like, you helping out. I just feel like you can work on it but you really need to get to working on it yeah i think I i'm not doing it's not like i can't do it i'm not doing it She's right just being you know lazy, lazy and like yeah. i said it's um 
I'm bringing the shmoney in though. I bring shmoney in too. Okay, but I bring shmoney shmoney in. <laughs> I bring more shmoney in than you. No, you don't. I make more money than you. No, me. you don't. Don't ever say that to the yo. You don't make no money. I do though. All right, all right, babe. How much I make a week? I make money on the side too. You know oh, so we lying. Okay. <laughs> all right, so what are we gonna do? So, so that's been a dilemma which has caused us to call the delay on like recording so much because we just was like Is that a hotel room phone? Oh no. Nah. I heard you you heard something, right? Yeah, but it, I feel like it was Is it a hotel phone? No, because that was louder. Right, right. I think that's like a the room next door or something. Like a siren. <laughs> so um anywho, that was the dilemma personally for me and I felt like I don't wanna really record videos if I really don't know what I'm doing. But the truth right. is, I do want to I do want to just go through with it and enjoy our life. We only live once. And I'm like I said, I'm watching a lot of reality shows. And I know a lot of people personally that really go through stuff with these stuff. Yeah, when we watch stuff, we're like, yo, and we arguing about this little We shit. argue about the little things, you know? And um, unfortunately, like, I just got news that a cousin, of, a younger cousin of mine lost... Um, her spouse, you know, it's just that like life is really short, and Yo, yeah, I like and if know. I do have only four, if I do have four days a week free, and I gotta do some crying? stuff, no, I'm not crying. Yeah. It's just that life is short, and I don't want to argue about you know little things. You pop, you bugging. This cleavage is popping. This is so and all right, all right. That's a popping cleavage, though. Right. So when I look cute to oh, work, I don't want to hear. And I'm only complaining. like a B cup. Put on you some feel me? Fresh J's of what you mean, Tommy? That this cleavage is from a B cup, yo. Shout out to what bra I got on. It's from Conway. <laughs> Why you keep saying that? I never bought a Conway bra. I'm gonna go in Conway. Why you think that's so funny to say? Nah, that's not, I, it's not you. It was somebody else. Who? Huh? <laughs> Y'all see what I'm talking about? <laughs> that's that's what I always nice. say. Can't wait. That's can't not wait. nice. <laughs> that's not nice. You talking about? That's not nice. Yeah, but she said it. She she said you she. You be gossiping, B. Oh my god. You act like a girl. You think like I'm femme? So I hear gossiping. I'm a chicks. femme though. You are a femme though. I'm a femme. I mean. So much. What you doing? I don't put the butt. Any. I don't put the butt. I know how to cook it. That bitch good looking. I fuck out her mama. I don't like that line. I don't like that line. Future's stupid. Future's not. Future's a lot. He actually go and see what stock is going Anyway, I'm looking for Portia. Looking for who's your? Portia, that's my boo. Anyway. This is this is sidetracking everything supposed to do. This, I got, so I'm, I'm watching one of our other videos. No, I'm not watching it. But I'm going to go through all of our videos where y'all ask questions. We're going to answer them. This is a wedding Q&A. The title of this video will be wedding Q&A. Right. This is the wedding Q&A. So all the questions you've asked about our wedding, um, we're going to give you the answers to as, as, as best as we know how. Um, and don't worry. I, I saw somebody say, well, when are we going to start really seeing the wedding things? We're going to take y'all. Mm-hmm. On the venue look, the pa- look, um, the meeting with the pastor, I cake tasting, and all that. Just to do that. Yeah, that would be really good if you do. You see, help. Um, so we can just get things done. All right. kind of headache. Okay, someone said we should come to Okinawa for our honeymoon. Okinawa. What is that? I don't know. I hope it's on my journey. I'm not trying to do no honeymoon after. Somebody asked, "Are Rita's family coming?" Probably my sister in Canada. My sister in China, I don't know. My brother can I, I hope, I would love for my mom and my sister who love now lives in Dunham to come. I love that. Um, Your if, brother. My brother, I don't, I don't think he could get a visa here. Your cousins. But I have, I have my cousins, for sure, they're going to be there. Um, she has, like, some cousins in America, some... Like, those who accept me for being gay. Anana, Ashley, Patrick. I've met the cousins before. I think about three of them. Yeah. Um, it didn't I, go so well. No, so I'm trying to. You they know. were very short with me. I I feel like I feel like they were a little short with me. I don't. Um, maybe that's not who they are, their personality. But I just think when I met them, they were kind of like really short and standoffish. Right. So to me, first impression of everything. So I was just like, okay. Maybe there has to be a second meetup and we'll see how things go for that. That would deter whether you guys can be in the same space or not. I was disappointed because it was the first time I was meeting her family, but. I don't know. We were we were in a club setting. It was it was really busy. I mean, I don't know. It could be anything. Um, 
I spoke to her sister. Which one? The one in who, Can- from China. Right. Who, who was back Ghana. in Ghana. Yeah. yeah. So we actually had a really good conversation. A good texting conversation as well. So I'm looking forward to meeting her. And her mom, her mom knew about me. It took a little while for her mom to warm up to the idea that, you know. Right. Um, but she always knew about me. She knew my name. She knew who I was. <laughs> like, she knew your name. Yeah, right? she, she know my, no, I'm saying she know my name. She know how I look. She know me. But we just haven't spoken. Right. Until we were on, on our way to the airport yesterday. Because um, it's usually just like, oh, heaven said hi. Or my mom said hi. And we just say hi through the phone. But we actually spoke on the phone. And she has like the softest voice in the world. It, it, it's so crazy. Um, but it was just so, it was so warming. Like, it was so warming. I just can't wait to meet your side of the family. So, yes, whoever can come and able to come to um, New York is, well, is definitely going to be there. I, I want as much as her side there as possible. Right. Um, and um, c- are your followers still invited? That was one of the comments. She was like, are, are, Cough, cough, your vitamins, your viewers still invited. Um, yes, our YouTube viewers are still invited, but I feel like we're gonna do some type of way to invite y'all. But yeah, we would actually love it because I actually had it in my mind the way the tables will be set up. Right. They're gonna be round tables, so we're gonna have like my family, her family, the pe- friends. our friends, and then the YouTubers. Right. And I think that'd be so dope. We could actually just point over to the one table and be like, this is our people who just watched us for three years and seeing us grow to this point it's gonna be so lovely and we accept wedding gifts don't get it um somebody said we should move from atlanta atlanta we should move to atlanta or la and we should like do a contest and see um well it says atlanta or la where i think you ladies should move in are your followers still invited or will you do like a concert or something to determine that so the same question we're gonna have y'all invited and we should do something to have y'all invited atlanta or la babe because y'all know the plan is we think immediately though because we need to move out immediately and I, we think our immediate place to live will be somewhere close to like up and go to la right now is too much we do need to get out where we at. And that's probably like going to be Jersey, upstate Queens. That's going to be somewhere nearby. But we want to move like probably like we want to be where we're moving to now to be there for a year. You yeah, know, I'm like just more like LA. And I'm thinking LA too. I think the possibilities of my job, it will be easy for me to find a job in LA. I know that for sure. You think so? Yeah. Um, I think there's nice places in LA, like beaches, the weather be- taking you into consideration. Like, yes, I'm over this. The warm weather, the air. There's no sightseeing. I don't. I, Atlanta's cool. Atlanta is like a getaway. Like you know, let me stay off the scene. Yeah, we don't whenever. think to live here. I just don't think. I feel like um, I think this this place is a place for like. It's not for like living. I don't see the parties. Pop. No, no, I don't think it's not early. for living because we watch shows where people live out here. You know, like right. Love and Hip Hop, Real House Atlanta. I just feel like they live in certain parts that you don't really see. Like right. Like, the train system out here, the MARTA, I'll, that's not going to be our everyday thing, you know? And it just seems like everybody works. What I've learned, I've only been, well, I used to, I visited out here a few times. But this is the first time I'm, like, staying downtown. I used to stay at, like, an aunt house, like, in a suburb somewhere. We go to, like, two houses and that's it. I don't really see Atlanta, which is why this time I really wanted to be downtown Atlanta and actually see it walk around. I think here everybody is working. They are either going to work, leaving from work, on their way to work. They and they so it's working more of a form. survival lifestyle. It don't seem like everybody's relaxing, just living. And I think New York is the same way. I feel like everybody's hustle bustle. Right. You know, I feel like around where we live, there's a little bit more of you see the people going to brunch and stuff like that. You know, doing fancy stuff. But everybody for the lifestyle just like nine to five. The thing about LA that I love is that everybody is relaxing and enjoying their life. They're living in the moment. Yoga, you know. uh, uh hiking you know just like things that you don't you can't even do in la i mean in new york if you stop in new york to take a picture we'll look at you like you're fucking crazy bitch you got the nerve to stop and take a picture and we on our way to where we going you know it's like don't stop and enjoy right the view we got shit to do because i got mad at somebody because they stopped and took a picture like how dare you but i'm new york you know you're so trained to just Everybody's when you're taking a picture. It's like 40 Second Street toys. We get it. Y'all never been here. Y'all take a but us, we don't, we don't care, though. We'd be, like, like, be like, what are you doing? Yeah, like, like what? We, keep we, it pushing. We're like, how many on, time, But how many times did we seen people take pictures and stuff? And we be looking like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, how many times have we said, come on, now? Yeah. 
And the weather was nice was sat over there. You see the benches? Oh, yeah. It's cold down here, though. Yeah, it's like 36 right now. I wish I knew that. My, see, my mother's always no better. My mother was like, you going to leave and not take that coat? You're not going to take that coat? You're not going to take that coat? And I was like, no, I don't need the coat. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. She was like, no, you're going to need the coat. <laughs> I, I need the coat. All right. Um, I was wondering what's the colors. The co Oh, and this is from Kennedy Bam Bam Brandon, Um, the comment. So Kennedy the, Bam Bam Brandon. Mm-hmm. That's so cunty. So the the colors is uh yellow, gold, and white. Gold is her favorite color. And yellow is my favorite color. And white, of course. Blended in. Yes. Um is Rita walking down the aisle. What you mean? I'm walking like like a, <laughs> like a bit like I mean like like a, like a what? 